Hey guys, Merry Christmas Eve, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing um, a different video. Um, we are going to be uh, ranking Kiss's albums, but in a tier list. So if you guys don't know what a tier list is, um, there's this website called tiermaker.com and uh, you rank, you can take whatever you want and just rank it all um, from up and down. And, uh, at the top is, like, is, like, the best stuff, and at the bottom is the lowest stuff. And as you can see, I created my, um, my categories, um, from perfect album, to great album, to good album, to okay album, to mediocre album, to bad album, to terrible album. And, um, I'm gonna do, uh, Kiss, because I've listened to all their albums, and, um, I have a good, uh, good sense of all of them. Um, so, and I thought maybe this could become a new series, um, ranking discographies on a tier, on a tier list. I don't know if you guys would like this or not, but without further ado, let's get this started. So, first one here on the list is Asylum. Asylum, I really like. It's, a, it's very underrated. Um, I think, I think the image that they had in the album cover, um, give it flack and stuff. Um, I think it's a, I think it's a good album, um, lo lots of great stuff on there, like, like, um, King of the Mountain, Any Way You Slice It, Of Course Tears Are Falling, um, I really like, uh, Secretly Cruel is another good song on there, even though, uh, even though it's cheesy and all, I actually like, uh, All Night, but there are a couple of fillers on there, uh, like, Was a Deadly Weapon and uh draw by fire but um i'm putting it as a good album Ooh, controversial one the elder i love the elder i and yep i'm one of those uh kiss nerds that loves the elder i'm part of that cult following um now i'm gonna say the elder is not a perfect album there are some songs no actually i think i don't think there's a bad song on the elder I just don't think it's a perfect album because fanfare is a little bit, a little bit stupid. So I'm going to put it at great, but I'm telling you, um, the elder has so many great stuff on that. Um, uh, the oath world without heroes, only you just a boy, dark light. I can go on and on. Next up, we have Ace Freely solo album, arguably the best solo album of the seventy-eight four solo albums. Um, uh, this is a really great album. I like it a lot, and it would go into the perfect spot, but um, I'm not the biggest fan of New York Groove, so it's gonna go in the great section. If it didn't have New York Groove on it, it would be a perfect album. Don't hate New York Groove, just not the biggest fan of it. Next up, Rock and Roll Over, the follow-up to Destroyer. Uh, this one's going to be a tough one. Because there are some songs I like, and there are some songs that are kind of forgettable as well. Um, let me think. Well... I, I love, of course, I Want You is a classic on there. Colin Dr. Love, I, I like. Uh, Take Me is a great song. Mr. Speed's a good song. Making Love is an awesome song. Uh, but there are some stuff on there that's kind of forgettable, like See You in Your Dreams and Baby Driver. And, uh, hmm. Uh, I don't know where to put it. It's either going in the good section or okay section. I think I'm going to put it in the good section. Yeah, I'm, I'm sick with that. I'm going with the good section. Ah, Creatures of the Night. Um, for those who don't know me that well, Creatures of the Night is my favorite Kiss album. Oh. Uh, go away. Go away. Oh, no. Uh, how do I get out of here? Hold on a second, guys. Uh, 
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Hold on, guys. Give me a minute. There you came, I, I gotta start the the tier list all over again. Almost done, guys. Almost done. Sorry about that. Okay, well, I just reset the thing, I had to create it all over again. I don't know how that happened, guys, but for some reason, a random ad um, just popped up on the thing, and now we gotta put the albums that we had on our list back. Alright, so as I was saying, Creatures of the Night is my favorite Kiss album. No bad songs, every note is perfect on it, love every second of it, it's a perfect album. Next up, we have Dress to Kill. Dress to Kill, um, a very, another one of the most underrated albums from the 70s, especially from the first three, because when you hear about the Alive era um, albums, like the first three albums, Dress to Kill is talked, talked about the least. I don't know why. Uh, maybe because, I don't know, to be honest. I think it's a good album. It's not as good as Harder Than Hell, but I think... I like it more than the debut because the debut I'm kind of burnt out on, but um, but I don't think so, I don't think it's as good as Hard Than Hell. So some great songs on there, of course. She Love Her All I Can is a great song. Uh, Room Service, Ladies in Waiting is another great song. Um, uh, but there are a couple of fillers like Get Away or Get Away and Anything for My Baby and stuff like that. So, I think I'm going to put it in okay. It's an okay album. Now, the first Kiss album. Um, the first Kiss album, classic album. Pretty much like uh, Greatest Hits, if you, if you want to call it, because most of the band's um, most well-known songs or concert staples are on it. Um... I, uh, of course, Strutter is a classic, Firehouse is a classic, Deuce is a classic, Black Diamond, 100,000 Years, but there are two songs, I, I like every song on there except for two songs. I don't like Kissing Time, I think that's a, I think that's a cheesy, uh, cover that they do, and, uh, I don't like, uh, Love Thing from Kiss, I wish they would have had the whole instrumental acrobat, they should have had the whole instrumental instead of just a short version, so I'm that's gonna make an okay album. And now that I think about it, think about Dress to Kill again, I'm gonna move it up to a good album. All right, put it beyond there. Next up, uh, we have one Kiss's biggest albums, Destroyer. Destroyer, just like the first album, I'm really burnt out on it. <laughs> Doesn't make it bad. I'm just really burnt out on it. Of course, Detroit Rock City is on it, and King of the Nighttime World, and Beth, and stuff. But, um, I'm not burnt down on God of Thunder, though. I still love God of Thunder. Um, uh, Do You Love Me is great. Flaming Youth, even though it's very Alice Cooper-ish. Um, still a great song and stuff. Um, but I hate Grey Expectations. I hate that song. And I don't like the end where it's like called Rock and Roll Party or something. It's just it's just basically a bunch of crowd noise and reverb. It's trying to it's it's eerie, but it's kind of pointless, so it's gonna go in the good section. There we go. Dynasty. 
My second favorite Kiss album of all time. Love that album. Perfect, perfect song after perfect song on there. Love it. I was waiting for Loving You, 2000 Man, Dirty Living, Magic Touch has got to be my favorite on there, Charisma, Save Your Love, Hard Times, go on and on, I can go on and on and on, Love Dynasty, that's going up next to Creatures, it has a perfect album, and you, and obviously you can tell, my favorite album, and my second favorite Kiss album, okay, next up is, ah, Harder Than Hell, nice, have all of, uh, Kiss's 70s output, I think Harder Than Hell is their most metal sounding. Like, you can hear a little bit of Sabbath in there and stuff, and a couple of other little other hints of metal, especially on songs like Watching You, Strange Ways, Par Parasite. Um, Let Me Go Rock and Roll is a little bit punkish. Um, just all around great album. Not perfect, but great. And it's going up here with Ace with Ace's Symphony solo album and the Elder. Okay, now we get to Sonic Boom. First album to have uh, Tommy and Eric. Well, not not Eric. Eric Singer played on Carnival Souls and Revenge. I, I should say the first album with uh, Tommy Thayer on the whole album because he even though Tommy Thayer played a lot on Psycho Circus. Um, uh, he was uncredited. Uh, Sonic Boom is a... Uh, I don't like Kiss's last two albums that much. Sonic Boom and, and Monster. Um, they're very generic sounding. And Paul's voice isn't good on either of them. Um, and most of the stuff is generic. But there are three songs I like on um, Sonic Boom. And that's um, Modern Day Delilah. I'm an animal and say yeah. So I'm gonna put it in the mediocre category. Us Animalize, the first album with Gene not being fully involved with Kiss. Um, I think it's a a lot of people <clears throat> sorry, I just had a bad voice crack, I'm so sorry. Oh come on, not again. Ugh. Why are these ads popping up? Hold on, guys. There we go. I guess I guess this app um, relies so much on ads. <laughs> uh, all right. So what we're talking about? Animalize. Yes. Um, Animalize. Uh, I think it's a good album. Uh, a lot, um, I like the Paul songs more than the Gene songs. Uh, I've had enough into the fires ripping. Heaven's on fire. Um, I think it's a catchy hard rock song. I like Burn Bitch Burn, even though it's cheesy with the, uh, even though it has those cheesy lyrics, especially the one, uh, one put your log, put my log in your fireplace. Oh boy, that one's really, really cheesy, but I still like it for the rips and the solo. Um, Under the Gun is speed metal. Um, and awesome thrills of the night is another catchy hard rock and i i, I love and i love while the city sleeps really cool deep cut from gene um but i'm not the biggest fan of uh get all you could take because of paul's vocals on it are a little bit too high and i don't like uh, lonely as a hunter or murder in high heels so i'm gonna put it in the okay section psycho circus Oh boy, I know you guys are going to get mad at me when I say this, but I really enjoy Psycho Circus a lot. I really like this album. And I know a lot of people hate it because, oh, it doesn't have the original four on it. And I, and I know, that's stupid. I don't know why they didn't let Peter and Ace play on the whole album. But I'm not going to I'm not gonna let um, politics or drama or, who rec or the people that recorded the album um, reflect on my opinion of uh, whether I should like it or not. The mu if the music's good, the music's good. I just stole the line from Ralph Vieira. Ralph Vieira, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, the music's good and the music is good. Um, really like this album. I'm going to put it, and you guys are going to get really pissed at me when I say this, but I'm going to put it in the great category. I really like Psycho Circus. Dare I say, I love Psycho Circus. I don't think there's a bad song on Psycho Circus, except for Finally Found My Way. I hate that song. It's a terrible ballad from Gene. Not Gene, um, Peter, 
really, really not really bad. But I love the rest of the album. I love Dreamin, even though it's uh, Alice Cooper 18 ripoff. Um, during a thousand years, you wanted the best. Into the void is awesome. Within the bit weird song, it's Kiss doing post grunge, but I think they're doing post post grunge done right. Um, uh, tile track is a classic. We are one is a catchy song. Um, so yeah, it's going up and great. Next up, oh we have a, there we go. Now we're getting back to the seventies stuff. Love gun, uh, love gun. Uh, have the Alive 2 era albums is my favorite. Uh, really a bunch of classic material on here. Of course, I Stole Your Love kicks ass. Um, Christine 16 is a classic. Of course, the title track is a classic. And no, I'm not sick of it. I still love Love Gun. Um, Shock Me is, is a classic. I really like Plastic Caster. Almost Human is an eerie, eerie but awesome song. Um, really, really, um, good album, but it's a good album, not a great album, because I don't like Then She Kissed Me, I don't like the cover that they do there, and I don't like, um, Hooligan that much, but the rest of the album's really good. Oh, Revenge, okay. If you guys didn't get pissed on me already for saying I love Psycho Circus, then you guys are gonna get pissed on me even more. I think Kiss Revenge is the most overrated Kiss album. I said it. I said it. Don't get mad. It's my opinion. Kiss Revenge. People praise this album to know and say, oh, it's the greatest um, non-makeup album. It's one of the best Kiss albums of all time. So it's them getting back to the heaviness. Well, yeah, they did. it is them going back to the heaviness after, after um, uh, Crazy Nights and Hot in the Shade. But... They just missed a mark on this. Um, I think this album is not good at all. There's only two good songs on there. And that's, of course, Unholy, which is an awesome song, and Hard Chrome. And the funny thing about those two songs is they were co-wrote by Vinnie Vincent. So I think if Vinnie Vincent co-wrote the whole album, it would probably be one of the best Kiss albums. Because I'm telling you, when Vinnie Vincent writes for Kiss or writes with Kiss... The, they get good material out of it when, because that's why Creatures is up is up there at my number one because of Vinnie Vincent, um, co-writing most of those songs. And but yeah, I do love those two songs, but the rest of the album is not good, so it's gonna go in the bad category. Um, next up is Kiss Unmasked, uh, probably uh, Kiss's most poppy album, along with Crazy Nights. I kind of like this album. I used to like it more when I was younger. It hasn't aged with me that well, but I still like it. There's still some good songs. I like Is That You, I Love Shandy, uh, I Love Talk To Me, Naked City is an awesome song, probably my favorite track on there. Um, Easy as it seems, very underrated song. Like I like that one a lot. Um, but Side Two has a lot of filler on it, though. Like "You're All That I Want" and "She's So European" and uh, what's it called? "Tomorrow," kind of forgettable stuff. So it's gonna go in the okay. Nope, not in the bad. In the okay section. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, my throat. Uh, lick it up. Lick It Up is my third favorite Kiss album, just after Creatures and Dynasty. And you might be thinking, I'm probably going to put it up at Perfect, right? Wrong. I love everything about Lick It Up except for the tile track. I cannot stand the tile track. It annoys me, and it's way too simple. Even for Kiss, it's just, it's just, gun, 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 over and over and over again. It, it's just... If it was, if the title track wasn't on there, it would be in the perfect section. But no, it's no, no, it's going in the great section. I'm telling you, there's a lot of great stuff on there, like uh, Exciter, Not for the Innocent, Million to One, which is probably my my favorite song on there. Young and Wasted, Fits Like a Glove, awesome awesome stuff on there. Uh, Paul Stanley solo album. Arguably, one probably tied with Ace Freely as my favorite Kiss solo album. 
both usually people say either Paul or Ace is the best. I say it's a tie between the two. And just like Ace, I love every song on there except for one song and I know I know which one I know and I know you guys know the one that I hate. Hold me touch me. I hate that song. Sappy boring ballad sucks. But the rest of the album's great though. So that's why it's going in the great section again. The awesome songs on there like um tonight you belong to me move on uh ain't quite right love and chains it's all right take me away to get take me away together as one no isn't the same isn't the name of song yeah take me away epic song love that one it's a great album now carnival of souls kiss going grunge or alice in chains a lot of people hate this album. I don't hate it. I actually kind of like it. Um, I wouldn't say it's great, but I think it's I think it's um, a decent album. There are some good stuff on there, like Rain, uh, Jungle, Master and Slave, I Walk Alone, In My Head. Really good. Uh, it never goes away. That one's really sounds like Black Sabbath. But there are some songs I don't like on there, like Childhood's End and uh, um, In the Mirror. So I think it's going to go in the good section. Okay, now we reach Monster. This is my least favorite Kiss album of all time. I think it's worse than Sonic Boom and Revenge. It's going in the terrible section. I couldn't find any songs that I liked off it. Hello Hallelujah had some good had some good parts to it. Freak had some good parts to it, but that's pretty much it. Paul's voice does not sound good in the generics, and most of the album is generic. And the production, oh, the the production on these two albums is not that good on the last two Kiss albums. Sorry, you sorry Monster fans, but yeah, I don't like <clears throat> Monster at all. Next up is Peter Chris's solo album. Uh. Not uh, not that great, to be honest. Very of its time, 70, 70s-ish. But there are a couple songs I like. I like You Matter Me, even though it has that cheesy 70s keyboard. I like I like uh, Don't Let Me Down and... Uh, what's that other one? Uh, forget it. It's on side two. Um, it's either... Rock me, baby, or some or one of the one of the fifty style songs he has on side two, um, but still not that great. But I'm gonna put it in the mediocre category. All right, we're down to the last three. Hot in the shade. Many people hate this album, and I wouldn't say I hate it, but I wouldn't say I love it. I'm like in the middle on it. Just way too many songs on it, but there are some good stuff on there. But there is a lot of filler. Alright, so some of the good stuff on there is Betrayed, Rise to It. I like Forever a lot. Um, uh, Somewhere Between Heaven and Hell is a good song. Uh, Little Caesar, Eric Carr's, uh, Eric Carr's singing is great on that song. Uh, you Love Me to Hate You. Pretty good stuff on there, Silver Spoon. But there are some filler on there like Hide Your Heart I don't like a lot. I, I know a lot of people love Hide Your Heart. I don't like that song. Um, Prisoner of Love, sl Love's the Slap in the Face, Street Give It, Take It Away, aren't they filler, 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 filler. So, it's gonna go in the okay section. Gene Simmons, 78 solo album. Like I just said in, in my, uh, most recent, uh, reaction video, I said the Gene Simmons solo album is my least favorite of the four solo albums. I think it's worse than Peter's. It's a, I would say it's a bad album. Actually, wait, no, actually, no. You know what? I'm gonna be generous. I'm gonna be nice. It's a mediocre album. Um, not completely terrible. There are some good songs on there, like Radioactive, Burning Up with Fever, um, See You Tonight, and Mr. Make Believe and stuff. But there is crap on there, like When You Wish Upon a Star is absolute garbage. Uh. Living in Sin is it that it is not good. Um, True Confessions is is not good. And uh, what's the other one? Um, Always Near You. Blah. Um, mediocre album. 
And on the last one here on the list, Crazy Nights. A lot of people have been hating on Crazy Nights lately. And people have been saying it's the worst Kiss album. Uh, for me, I don't hate... <clears throat> I don't hate it. Um, I'm like I'm like in the middle with it. I used to like it more when I was younger, but as an age with me that well, kind of like with kind of like with Unmasked. Um, but still, there there are some good songs on there, like the title track. Even though as cheesy as it is, I like the title track. I like uh, Fight Hell to Hold Do. No, no, no. Uh, it's kind of fillerish, but I like the intro with the uh, with Bruce Kulick's guitar solo. When Your Walls Come Down is very cheesy and sounds a lot like Poison, but I kind of like it. Reason to Live, once again, cheesy again, but I kind of like it. Uh, Thief of the Night is pretty good. But there is some crap on there, like Bang Bang You, which is which is way too cheesy for me. <laughs> um, my way, not that good. Um, sounds like something that be in uh, be in like a be in Rocky Five or, or Rocky Four. Um, Hello, high, Hello High Water, eh. and turn turn on the night would be good if Paul Stanley just just can lower his vo voice a little bit because his voice is way too high on there way too high pitch and I don't like it at all so, but I like him more than on in the shade so you know what uh you know what yeah I'm gonna leave it okay so anyways guys that's my ranking for all the kiss albums if you guys um know tearmaker.com please uh make your own um tier list for all the kiss albums we're just going to run through quickly. Um, there are two, in my opinion, and these are all my opinion, people. These are all my opinions, okay? So don't get mad. Creatures of the Night and Dynasty are perfect albums. The Elder, Ace Freely, Ace Freely Soul Album, Hard Than Hell, Psycho Circus, Look It Up, and Paul Stanley Soul Album are great albums. Asylum, Rock and Roll Over, Destroyer, Dress to Kill, Love Gun, and Carnival of Souls are good albums. The Debuted, Animalize, Unmasked, uh, Hot in the Shade, and Crazy Nights are okay albums. Um, Sonic Boom, Peter Chris's solo album, and Gene Simmons' solo album are mediocre. Um, Revenge is a bad album, and Monster is a terrible album. <clears throat> album. But anyways, guys, um, thank you for watching. Um, let me know if you want me to continue this series of uh, ranking uh, bands' discographies. Um, and thank you for watching. Thank you for 148 subs. Let's get that up to 150, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Kiss rules.